Bruce at fightertightcentral.com talking about decorating a polyfilm uh, kite skin. We talked about in a different video how to use acetone to actually change the coloration of the uh, metallicized uh, polyfilm that's often used in making fighter kites. Today we're going to use a different technique and one, unfortunately, I can't actually show you the whole process in the video because it requires uh, the kitchen sink and running water. I have no way to make a video of that, but I can tell you about it. And uh, you can do this on a finished kite, or you can do it on the skin before you make the kite. Either way. It's very, very simple. The trickiest part about this is the timing. I use a product that's made by Clorox. This is like a toilet bowl cleaner with bleach in it. Or it's kind of a gel. It's kind of a gel bleach. And I learned about this technique from Steve Childers who makes uh, wonderful kites. And uh, he uses this technique in a very skillful way. But if you... Uh, the beauty of this is it's so simple. It, it's simple in the fact that you can just randomly do it. You could also control it more. But what you do is simply put this bleach wherever you want the color to disappear. And that color will vanish and it'll be silver where you have applied this bleach gel. And if you wait a little longer and leave it there will be nothing but clear polyfilm where the bleach is now. Nothing really happens with the bleach on the film until water hits it. It's really interesting. Uh, it takes water to really activate the power of the bleach against the ink on the uh, polyfilm. It will, it will take it off some, but nothing like it does with water uh, added to it. And it takes uh, a different amount of time because the inks that are used are not all the same. So there's no real prescription in terms of how uh, you can guarantee specific results. It'll take some experimentation, and as a result, you'll waste some of the material in trying to find out how it works best for what you want to do. But some of the accidents turn out to be quite interesting as uh, kite skins. And I've uh, used several that just in experimenting, I turned out that uh, the uh, it looked pretty darn good. I never realized it would, but it did. But what you do is just put this under the kitchen sink, bathroom sink, any, any running water outside and just wash and or rub. You can rub this a little bit as well and it accentuates the effect. In other words, it'll take more of the ink off. It'll take the ink and the silver coating underneath the ink off uh, if you rub it. I was going to see right here. Now it's only been a couple of minutes that we've had it on, but if you use water, you're talking about seconds, probably 15 to 30 seconds would be the time you would need in order to accomplish uh, the removal of the color and or the silver. But like I say, it depends a little on the ink that's used and you don't know until you try it what impact this uh, Clorox will have. You can use household bleach as well. It's just not as strong and it doesn't stay put. It runs and uh, is more difficult to control. So this uh, gel style seems to be better. Oh yeah, this comes off. Now here, this took just a couple of minutes. No water. But of course, wherever I have this, now, after I remove it from the original place, it'll remove the ink off. So you can see how it works here just by itself. It doesn't take very long, and if you rub it, it has more effect. 
Now where I originally put this, it's clear. Where I rubbed it, it's silver. So it, it can be controlled and underwater it's a little easier to control it actually and you can wash away without uh, uh, the bleach, without it actually affecting other parts of the uh, skin that you may not want affected at all. So I hope you uh, find experimenting with this to be uh, something you want to try. It makes, it makes kites that really uh, in the sky look terrific. Uh, so uh, good luck.